Hey guys, so for today's video, I created this reddish, really warm, smoky eye with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Divine Neutrals palette. This is now my second look with this palette. If you wanna see my first video with this and kinda of like my first impressions of it, I'll link that video down below for you. But tonight, my boyfriend and I are going on a little date night. We're going to a paint and sip. So you paint a little picture, drink a little alcohol, it'll be super fun. And I just wanted to do my makeup with you guys. So if you wanna see how I got this look and just kinda of hang out a bit, go ahead and keep on watching. I already primed my eyes with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. In my first video, a lot of people asked for a look using this kind of reddish shimmer shade, so I'm definitely gonna do that today. So I'm gonna start with Good Vibes on a Sigma E35, and this shade's gonna go in my crease. Now I'm gonna switch to a Sigma E25 in the shade Just Barely, and we're gonna blend around the edges of that first shade just to soften it out. Pretty sure this is how I started my first look with this palette, but any kind of neutral look, I typically start the same way. Okay, I feel like my camera's looking really saturated right now. Can I change that? Okay, I felt like my camera was pulling really orange and like really saturated. I tried to fix it, so I hope this shows a little bit better. Now I'm gonna pick a booked on my E25 and I'm gonna place that on my outer lid and blend it into my outer crease. Okay, I don't know what is happening, but my left eye is just not blending out. My right eye looks pretty good. I think it might be this color. I feel like someone might have commented in my first video saying that they had issues with this shade booked. And I didn't use this shade in my first look, so this is my first time using this color. And this is not looking very good. I'm gonna clean off my E25 just a bit on my Sigma Switch just to get like all the excess shadow off of it because this needs some work right now. I'm gonna go back to good vibes on my E25. You just see this harshness right here? That's what needs to be blended out. Let's try that with this color. Okay, I feel like that helped a little bit, but this shade booked is just looking so weird on my eye. I'm gonna try a packing brush. I'm gonna take more booked on a Sigma E54, and I'm gonna try packing on this color instead of using my E25. Sometimes shades just like need to be applied differently. Like if it didn't work with one brush, try a different brush and sometimes that works. Okay, I feel like that looks better, but I'm not like 100% happy with it, but you know, we gotta keep going. All right, well, let's add one of the shimmer shades. I'm gonna wet my E54 with a little bit of setting spray and I'm picking up Risque Business and that's gonna go on the like middle to inner part of my lid. Actually, I'm gonna switch to my finger because I have no nails on, so this will be super easy. shade is so gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. This is a Sigma E33, and I just like to softly blend around the edges of the shimmer. Now I wanna deepen up my outer corner even more. So I'm gonna pick up Cinnamon Roll on a Sigma E30 pencil brush. I'm just gonna pack that right out here. I'm kind of feeling a winged eyeliner today. I don't know, we'll see. My right eye is turning out better than my left eye, which like never ever happens. This just looks a little sloppy right now, but like I'm gonna clean this up for sure. I think I... Ooh! It's a pooper guys. Hi, cute pooper. It's this one of mine. Okay, I think I will do a wing because I feel like a wing can kind of make a look look more put together. And like I said, I feel like this is feeling a little sloppy. And I also like to do wings when I'm not loving my outer corner, which I'm definitely not right now. So a wing will save the day today. For my wing, I'm gonna use the House Labs Liner in Punk. So I like to relax my eye, look straight in the mirror.
All right, so I filled in that little triangle and then I just do a line across my lash line. And then for my right eye, I do the same exact thing, but I try to not make the wings perfectly even because my eye shape is not the same on each eye. So instead of worrying about getting the shape even on both eyes, I just make sure I get the shape right for this eye. Does that make sense? All right, I got both wings on. They're not perfectly even, but they look good on each eye, and that's what I kind of care about. I'm gonna go do some of my face makeup off camera, and then I'll do like some of it with you guys, just for funsies, and so I'll be right back. Tell me I don't look like a freaking ghost right now. My skin has been like freaking out recently due to so many things. I'm not eating well at all, I'm not drinking enough water, my period's coming in like three days, and oh, my skin's a freaking mess. So I didn't really wanna show the foundation part, but let me tell you what I did. I think Michaela from TikTok kind of came up with this trick, really. If you hear any munching, it's rue chewing on a bone in here. But I use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Vanilla, dot that all over any acne, any marks, any scars. And then I use the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation in 120 on top. And then I set that with the Too Faced Born This Way Powder in Vanilla. It's kind of like a foundation powder, but I just did like a light layer all over. I know it's a lot of layers, but like when fall and winter comes around, I'm kind of okay wearing a fuck ton of makeup, you know? But I want to just kind of like chat a little bit as I do the rest of my face makeup because I haven't like talked to you guys in a while and I've had a freaking week. So I'm filming this video on Friday the 15th and this Monday the 11th, I fucked up my back at the gym. I'm using the Dior little contour thing. I'm gonna use like the light shades here, a little Sigma F05. So I was squatting at the gym, something that I've done every single week for the past you know, two to three years now squatting with a barbell and I was doing an easy weight 95 pounds and I've actually been feeling like really good about my squat recently. Squatting used to be like one of my least favorite lifts just because it's kind of like awkward for my body shape. Like the last year um, with my boyfriend, I've really been trying to like perfect my squat form and get good depth and all that good stuff. So I've been feeling really good about my squat. So I'm squatting on Monday and I'm just like doing a couple reps and I feel like a weird little twinge kind of right here in my neck. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. So I did like two more sets. Um, I did the leg press and I was like, my neck kind of hurts. Like I felt a little stiff, so I left the gym. I came home, I told my boyfriend, I was like, my neck kind of hurts. I'm just gonna chill the rest of the day. And as the day went on, my pain got worse and worse and worse. Okay, this contour looks really good on my pale skin. Loving this so far. So when I got up on Tuesday, there was just so much pain all in my upper back, all in my neck. And I was like standing like this, like crooked. Um, I couldn't stand up straight. I, I literally could not move. And my body just hurt so freaking bad. The only thing that I could do was lay in bed all day. That was the only thing that felt okay was just laying flat with a little pillow. I couldn't lift up my neck. If I was laying straight down, I couldn't lift my neck up off the pillow. Like it was scary. I would have to like hold my own head as I try to like get up. It was so freaking painful. I was just crying, I was so upset. So I ended up calling a chiropractor and they could get me in on Wednesday morning. And I was like, perfect, like I need a chiropractor right now. So we went to the chiropractor Wednesday morning. Um, they took some x-rays and what they found is that I like, I twisted my upper spines, like right in between my shoulder blades. It twisted like just a little bit. And that little bit of twisting hurts like a freaking Biatch. So that's what happened. Um, went to the chiropractor. They did the little zappy thing. I don't know the name of it. That helps like relax your muscles back there. I got adjusted by the chiropractor and then I went back the next day on Thursday. So clearly it's Friday now. I'm moving. I can finally get things done. Yesterday, Thursday, I was finally able to like do some chores around the house, like bending over still kind of hurts, but I can actually like sit up pretty straight and I'm not walking around like this anymore. And I just like hate laying in bed doing nothing. So when I was useless, like the rest of Monday, Tuesday, like half of Wednesday, I was just so like unhappy and not feeling good. Um, I started the series Made on Netflix. I kind of really like it. I'm kind of binging that right now. So anyways, I'm like slowly getting better each day. Um, like I said, tonight is a paint night with my boyfriend. So I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer on a Sigma F40. 
and just kind of go over all that contour. So the last few days have been just a mess for me, but I'm so glad I'm feeling better. And I can like finally film now and do my makeup. Like this is my first time wearing makeup all week. Um, I haven't self tanned. I need to get a wax. Like I just, I don't feel like myself right now. And it's just hard when like you don't feel good. You don't feel good about yourself. So that's where I'm at right now, but I think next week will be better. So we don't really know like how I hurt my back while squatting. I think what happened is that the barbell just must have been like slightly on a weird spot on my back. And when I squatted, I might've like twisted a little bit. Cause like, I didn't really notice myself like doing anything wrong. I just started noticing a little pain and it was just not fun. For my blush, I've really been liking the KVD blush in Foxglove. I need to buy more like powder blushes. Okay, but I wanted to try a different brush. So usually I use the F35 for like under eye stuff, but I want to try it as a blush brush because it says tapered highlighter, but I mean, you can use a brush whatever you want. So I kind of want to try this, but I'm also excited because You season three comes out today. Um, so my boyfriend and I have been rewatching season two of you to just like get a little recap. We just finished that today. So I think tonight after our paint night, I'll probably be a little tipsy. So we'll grab some like McDonald's, watch you. See, that's like my perfect date night. Anyways, the paint night we're going to, it's called Painted with a Twist. And you could like pick which night you wanted to go and which picture it is. So I think it's like a kind of spooky moon halloween vibes painting which can be really really fun and it's bring your own booze so i'm bringing a bottle of wine of course maybe i'll pop up a picture here of how the night went okay i like this brush for my blush i take the hourglass ambient lighting powder in luminous light same brush and kind of go around the edges of my blush See how that kind of like softened this side a little bit compared to that one? I'm definitely slouching a lot right now. All right, now let's zoom in and finish up the eyes. Now I'm gonna take Booked on my E30. All right, let's try this shade on the lower lash line. And then taking more just barely on my E33. Just gonna do a little blend down here. I'm gonna take my favorite black pencil liner, which is the House Labs Gel Coal Liner in Punk. Then I'm taking a Sigma E21 with a little bit of cinnamon roll and I'm gonna smudge that out. Okay, I just wanna show you how it looks like if you do kind of smudge out the black versus if you don't. I just like this eye better. All right, then I'm gonna take all Lux on a Sigma L04 and we're highlighting. Now I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes and I'll show you the look all done. All right, here is a final close up of the eyes for my lashes. I'm wearing my brand The Bright Lashes and the Style Lush. I've been loving wearing the style. If I want something like a little bit more than all natural, but nothing like too big and too crazy, I just think these are so gorgeous. All right, then on my lips, I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Iconic Nude, and then the Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in Buttercup. I also wanna show you guys my jewelry because it is date night and I never, ever, ever wear jewelry like it's just it's not my thing but i want to try it so i literally just got these today off amazon so i got some little like gold hoop earrings you know okay but then look at this little necklace i got so it's like a little layered combo and it's a freaking eyeball anything eyeball i just have to buy because it's like literally me and my brand hence the eyeball mirror by the way this is from target i get questions about it all the time yeah i love the necklace not too sure how i feel about the earrings Maybe they need some getting used to. I don't know. I need help with jewelry and like styling. Anyways, I'm super excited for our date night tonight and I like how my makeup turned out. I feel like it took a little bit of work to get here. I'm definitely glad I added that winged liner. I do really like that um, risque business shade on the lid, but that matte brown shade booked just it wasn't doing it for me. And I do kind of feel like every smoky eye you were to do with this palette would kind of look the same. Like I said in my first video, all these shades down here have like a different undertone to them. But when you pair those with the same matte brown shadows every time, you're gonna get a pretty similar look. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do any more videos with this palette because I don't wanna just like keep repeating the same exact look, you know what I mean? But I do still love the shades in this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.